episode 256, The New Achievements. Ping, your post received a comment. Your post has been shared 1,425 times. Your profile has received a new message. Read it now. You have gained 286 new followers. Serena stared at the screen, completely aghast. My god, Aiden, your post is going viral. So? Aiden blinked. Serena's face turned red and immediately realized that Aiden either didn't understand or didn't care. Gingerly, she explained. We in the media industry say a post has gone viral when it gets shared a lot in a short period of time. Viral posts bring in a lot of engagement and followers too. Only about one post a month really goes viral like this. How did you get so lucky on your first try? Only one a month, huh? Aiden frowned discontentedly. Are you serious? I've been working in the media for years, but I've only written three viral posts so far. Aiden thought for a minute and once again spread his golden fingers across the keyboard. Soon, another post was completed and published. Your post received a comment. Media competence skill, plus one. When it became apparent that this second post was going even more viral than the first, Serena was dumbstruck. She stared silently at Aiden as the notifications came in, as if she were petrified. After a while, Serena angrily threw the book in her hand. Never mind about the test. I have no idea how you could manage it. Could you give me some pointers? Aiden couldn't help but be amused by Serena's stupor. He looked away to hide his mischievous grin. Let's just prepare for the exam. Serena shook her head. The more time she spent with Aiden, the less she understood him. Sometimes, he seemed quite likable and easy to understand. Other times, he was an unpredictable, impenetrable wall. What is up with this kid? She asked herself. Besides the library, Aiden also spent a lot of his free time at the K-House. Dora was still quite shaken from her kidnapping, so whenever he had free time, Aiden visited her to chat and play. He hoped the effort would help ease her worries and lessen her trauma from the whole experience. Oliver was staying in the K residence as well, and had become something of a bodyguard for the family. Aiden often asked him about the various skills he had learned, and Oliver happily answered his questions. He never kept a technique secret, and soon, he had taught Aiden almost everything he knew. One day, Anthony K. called Aiden into his office. Aiden, if I remember correctly, you still don't have a car, he asked. Aiden shook his head politely. The K Group has recently developed a new car specifically designed for teen drivers. I'm going to give you one. Car? Aiden knew that this offer wouldn't be for a mere scooter or motorbike, but a real, actual car. The Bayside District was very small. You could walk pretty much anywhere you needed to go. If you had an emergency, you could always take a taxi. That is to say, Aiden had never considered buying a car before. Kay smiled, shaking his head as if refuting Aiden's thought. Aiden, you're not an ordinary student. For one, you're a store manager. The Midnight Snack Corner has become a popular staple of Bayside. I heard that the mayor even planned to package you as a talented entrepreneur and promote it to the major media, but the idea was suppressed by Mr. Wiles. He was worried that if you became famous too fast, it would ultimately hinder your growth. Aiden nodded silently, appreciative that Arthur Wiles was using his wings of influence to shelter him in his growth. Aiden had already dealt with his fair share of jealous individuals, and becoming even more high profile certainly wouldn't help with that. Besides, he wasn't very interested in being known as a talented entrepreneur. But that doesn't mean you won't still have to deal with the outside world, Case said. He looked quite serious. Do you really want to stay in the Bayside District forever? Your talents would be greatly suited to a much larger life than that, young man. Aiden's heart beat quickly in his ears. He knew that Bayside was a good place, with beautiful scenery. It was an excellent spot for tourists to visit and retirees to call their own. But it wasn't exactly a great place for someone whose life was just starting out. The Midnight Snack Corner had become the highlight of the city's catering industry. The turnover of a day at Midnight Snack was often equal to the turnover of the combined turnover of every other local restaurant combined. Late night snacking had become rather trendy, and that fact was reflected in the steady follower growth that the Midnight Snack Facebook account was receiving. Aiden had also been ravenously consuming all the books in the Otis High Library, and now his skill level for most subjects had reached an 8. 
He knew it was a better choice to leave Bayside District and expand outward, whether it was for his own sake or for the long-term development of Midnight Snack Corner. While Aiden was meditating, Kay continued, It's always more convenient to have a car of your own when you were out of town, Dale. If you're worried about being too far away from your parents, I can give them a car as well. You have an older sister too, right? It might be a bit much to give her a car as well, but I could always just send her a motorbike. And as Kay kept going, Aiden couldn't help but smile. He appreciated that Kay was going to all this trouble just to convince him to accept his already generous offer. Since he had saved Dora multiple times already, he figured that Kay must have felt guilty for not rewarding him. It's all right, Mr. Kay. I'll take the car, he assented. Hearing that Aiden was willing to accept the gift, Kay sighed in relief. When he had first known Aiden, he only really valued him for his general integrity and his cooking skills. But as their business relationship continued, he began to thoroughly appreciate many aspects about the boy. At times, he was amazed that he was only 16 years old. How terrible would it be if he and Aiden had grown up at the same time? It seemed obvious that Aiden was only a matter of time from surpassing his own achievements despite being younger than he was. That thought made Mr. K even more anxious to get closer to him. Not to mention, words that his father had mentioned to him kept playing over in his mind. Maybe it's better to find a fiancé for Dora in advance, 